Hi guys, Eric and I are at the Goodwill today. We are going to the two Goodwills in York. There's one like right across the street from the other it's one. Weird. I don't know why, <laughs> but we're stopping at the smaller one first and then we'll probably go take a look at the larger <laughs> store. So yeah, it's been a while since we have come to either of these. But we figured we would take a chance, see what there is to find, and crossing fingers that we find some stuff today. So are you ready, Eric? Kind of. Kind I of. guess. It's been a while. <laughs> it has. Brown. Yep. All right. Let's get going. Oh, my God. <laughs> Precious. This looks so different since last time I was here. Well, they did put has up these racks. Long? They put up these like racks instead of the shelves that were here. I feel like no matter where you go, you'll always see one of these Avon <laughs> decanters. They're literally everywhere. Eric's gonna go ahead of me while I look around here. Hello! Got a little clock from 1992. Alrighty. I'm gonna see if we can find anything. It's been a while since we've come to the thrift store. So. Eric is in the most optimistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thrift stores, I don't know. They're just, I mean, I'm sure you can still find stuff, but. Yeah, yeah that, I guess that is pretty, pretty true to do it consistently because we only come like every once in a blue moon and obviously rarely ever find anything, so. What is this here? Little knot thing. I'm not entirely sure. This is a nice bowl. It's got some scritchy scratchies. Look at this cat. It's got a big bird on it. I always just like to check these things to make sure they don't have any kind of signatures, which this definitely does. Let's take a look at it. It's underneath here. Um, what the heck does that say though? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. You can't make it out. It's cute though. I did find these Camelback filters. They have $2.99 on them. It says that there was three. There's only two in there, but they are sealed. And I did see a pack of two last sold for this one here, $39.95. So I'm going to get that for $2.99. Alrighty. There's a little recipe box. What is this? Okay, it's a cactus. Wait. Okay, yeah, it's a cactus. Wait, yeah. From this angle, it almost looks like an animal of some sort. Um, let's look at these tiles. Some tiles can actually do well. I always like to just take a look at them. This one says Cleo Tiesedry. Let me take a look at that just to make sure. Because like I said, some tiles can do okay. Um... Alrighty. What's this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just, you have no clue. That is a nice piece, but reading these is just impossible. Oh, there's another one too. There's two. I think I'm going to go ahead and take these. Um, the artist is actually someone named Tim Frain, F-R-A-I-N. Can't believe I figured that out, but <laughs> I'm going to take both of those. I'm not exactly sure what they're for, essentially, but what's this butter dish? I like the shape of this. That is Fultz Graph. I wonder what the... What? That's gorgeous. That looks really thick and heavy. Does it have any kind of maker's mark on it? 
Is that a signature of, there? It almost looks like Z. Oh. Gar well, these are impossible to read too. That's pretty. How much is that? I can tell it's two thousand two. Cool. Six I like when things have signatures. That's a that's a, it's, a plus. Yeah. It's definitely a plus. Studio glass. I'm going to. I'm I'm gonna just check this butter dish because sometimes butter dishes can do really well. I know it's false graph, but <laughs> we're at least gonna try it. You got, a, you got a little glaze. It's not a chip. Okay. It's a little glaze. Yeah, I'm gonna take this false craft butter dish. They call this, I think it's the ocean breeze. So we're gonna take that for 2 dollars Like I said, some butter dishes do really well. So what is this? This is like a garden steak. At first I thought maybe it was a mirror. Yeah, no. It's just a garden steak. Um hey, we're finding stuff. That's always a plus. Right. Destroying my faith in goodwill. I know. Nah. No. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Eric says it's a fluke that we're finding stuff. What is this? It's a recipe box. That's cute. It's got a lot of issues though. Like all of this white part is stuff that's missing off of it. But it would have been cute. Okay. Find some more stuff, Eric. Yeah, there's a reeds box. A reeds box. Isn't that the jewelry store? Yeah. Or am I wrong? I doubt there's gonna be anything in it, but no, it's no, a nice box. it is a nice box. <laughs> hey, check it out. We can do we can do some some goodwill dinner ideas. We got coconut milk. Corn beef hash. Corn beef hash. Have you ever had corn beef hash? Hey, you've been talking about beans. Oh, those aren't pintos. Those are great northern. We've got some tomato soup and oh, check it out. We got some queso con queso. Yeah. Salsa con queso. Yeah, that's like always retail. <laughs> you could dip some nachos or something. Piece of wood. Oh, there's a lot of that. There's a big one of those big tall ones with like squared off base. I feel like I see them kind of frequently. Is there anything hiding? Yeah, where's more studio going? Yeah, gotta find that stuff that's signed. That's the, that's the real good stuff. I always take a risk on stuff that's signed. Um, hmm. This is like pretty. The painted flowers, like that was done really well. What does that say on there? It says something. Hand Gentle wash hand only. Wash. It looks like it had a TJ Maxx sticker on the bottom. Or something along those lines. Yeah. That'll be the vin the vintage stuff. <laughs> It'll be what like generations grew up with. Yeah. Oh, these um, older watering cans, some of them I think can do well too. This one's pretty beat up. I'm not really feeling it. I like the shape and the color though, but I'm gonna pass on those. I see like a biscuit jar back here. Let's take a look at that. Eric, could you pick that up? See what, what it says under the bottom? Yeah. For some vision wear. That's Holes. a hall. Yeah. Little biscuit jar. Floral though. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel? I don't know. I can just I take a like stripes or look. Or... All right. That wasn't a biscuit jar. It was a bean pot. I'm gonna pass on it. Someone has one listed for fifty, but I think they're a little out of their out of their minds for a bean pot. This is pretty. I like the look of that. This is made in England. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this. Someone has a lot of two of them listed for like $15 right now. So not really anything, anything too fantastic. I am going to check these though. Okay, I am gonna take both of these Regis beauty products. This one here, this Root Boost, they got $2.99 on it. There's none currently listed, and I can get about $20 for that. And this one here, they have $1.99 on. This is a Shine Mist. Again, I think this one is worth even more. I think I can get $24 for this one. So we're going to take these. And I'm going to move along.
along and see if there's anything else in this beauty section. Oh my goodness, do you guys remember these things? These like bump it hair things. Oh gosh, they were really popular back in like, what was it? 2000 something. I'm gonna just maybe scan a couple barcodes on some of these items that I'm not entirely sure of. Finding anything here? Right? <laughs> There's a unicorn over here. Oh wait, here is the beauty aisle. So we're gonna spend some time right here. Uh, what is this? Fresh tonic lotion. Never heard of this. Made in France, that's always a good sign. We'll take a look at that. Alba Body Builder Shampoo. I'll take a look at those as well. All right, let's get to scanning some stuff. All right, I am going to grab this here. Um, I'll pull up a comp on this. There's aren't There aren't any solds, but I can do better because I'm only paying $2.99 for that. And then I think I'm gonna get these. These are $4.99 a piece, but I would sell them as a lot for like 20-ish something. I did see some sell for $39.99 for a lot of two. So I'm gonna take those, pass on the Alba. What is this? Vanilla cocoa sunscreen. That was definitely used. Um, what's this? Nature's Accents Massage Oil. I'm going to take a look at this, too. What's this? Raiders bag. Looks like a mead laptop bag. I just sold. Didn't I just sell it, man? Oh. He's like too much. Bucks, so yeah, he's not, he's worth, not, worth, he's not worth too much. Okay. I just thought it was neat because I just sold a lamp just like this. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. How much they got on it. First, we'll see how much they have on it. $10. All right, I think I'm gonna take this for 10. It last sold for 42, so. And there's none currently listed, so we might even be able to ask oh, a little more than that. Stuff. I'm always hearing it's pretty good. Shall I wear it? <laughs> I was gonna say, you can put this stuff in, but just make sure you yeah. take it back out. <laughs> Come talk to me. <laughs> yeah, like, excuse me, sir, you have stuff in that bag. It's like, yes, we are well aware. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, check these out. These are like, oh my, we can have a vintage food cooking show. Look at these. These are way, way old, aren't they? No, they got barcodes. They can't be that old. But why do they look old? That's so weird. That's crazy. They're definitely not vintage, but they look like they'd be vintage. Interesting. What do we got in here? They're like cases full of some sort of drinks. Interesting. All right, let's go down an aisle where there isn't anybody that's drawn to this bowl. That's really pretty. It's very heavy. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is Indiana glass. Um, they call this design Mount Vernon. I know I've sold a fairy lamp that had that same design. They went $10. Someone has one listed for like 20 something. I think I'm gonna pass on that though. If there were like other bowls with it or something along those lines, I'd, I'd consider then beer and pretzels. made this one cookies for santa this is beaumont brothers huh i'm gonna take a look at this so i got 2.99 on it someone has one listed for 15 or best offer i think i'm gonna pass on that again if there was more to it like if it had santa claus on it or something like that i'd be way more way more interested what are these guys these are older raspberry they look like little turtles. They're called Turtle. It's called Turtle Love. Those are so cute. Let's take a look at this end cap. We got a lot of like knickknacks. Knickknack patty wax. Got anything good mixed in? Got a bunch of clowns. Someone must have been tired of their clown collection. 
I don't blame them. <laughs> oh, look at this one. This one's so cute. Someone must have had a bell collection too. That one's adorable. Well, of course it's Avon. Avon made the cutest things. Here's a little print Disney. Oh, that's like barely in there. I don't want to pick that up. I'll end up dropping it. Okay. Okay, let's see. Here's the toys. Got some... Oh, wow. Something is making some noise here. I always feel overwhelmed when I'm looking at so many toys. I have seen people sell small versions of this Mr. Wonderful guy. I wonder if he would sell. I'm pretty sure he's called Mr. Wonderful. He probably like tells you compliments and stuff like that. <laughs> no. All right, he does sell not for much. He'd be worth more if he was still in his packaging, which he is not. So I'm gonna pass on him. Got some reindeers down here. Someone must have donated their collection of reindeers. Always look for Monster High dolls, Bratz dolls, huh? or their clothing and accessories. Okay, not really seeing anything popping out at me here. Smell this one. The spouting dolphin race. Oh, this game. I have sold this game before already. The pretty pretty princess game. It's gonna take a while for me to decide if all the pieces are there. I'm gonna look it up and see if it's still worth worth picking up. They got two. $2.99 on it. They have it taped, but there's no way in hay I'd buy this unless I knew all of the pieces were in there. So I may have to open it. I just randomly spotted this funny looking alarm clock. There is a dead bug inside. They but... taped it like on every side. <laughs> I don't care. I'm well, yeah, because I'm not buying it unless all the pieces are there. I think I'm gonna get this for $3.99. I'm somehow gonna have to get that dead bug out of there. It is new um, and I think I can get around 20, 20 ish dollars for it. So we're gonna just go ahead and take that. What's in there? All right, we're gonna count the pieces. What is that, what is that glare? There's a glare on you. Glare <laughs> shining. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are finished at Goodwill, our Goodwill shopping trip. We went to the two Goodwills in New York, and we got some stuff. We I'm actually so bought surprised. some stuff. Yeah, I, I, I left the house like, meh. <laughs> Goodwill. <laughs> yeah. But it was actually uh, pretty decent. Yeah, I, I think so, too. It was a successful shopping trip, which is always what we aim for. <laughs> so... Yeah, any day you find signed art glass at a Goodwill, it's a pretty good I day. I know, right? I'm so excited to do some research on that piece and You're excited for that? That's a pain. <laughs> no, it's such I'm a pain excited. to figure out what their I signatures like researching are sometimes. Stuff. Sometimes they fall into your lap, other times it's like <laughs> half hour, hour goes by and you're like, I don't know. There are, if you get stuck with something like that, I just want to make mention, there are Facebook groups out there for literally everything. You have your art glass groups, you have your studio yeah. pottery groups, and you'd be surprised, you post something on one of those groups and there is someone out there who knows exactly whose signature it is and what your piece is. And most of the time, I've yeah, stumped some. Yeah, we have, but <laughs> uh, for the most part, like there is much success in those types of groups. And it, same way with like vintage toys, like anything you can think of, there is a Facebook yeah, there's, there's group for it. there's people in those groups that like to identify. Mm -hmm, they love the or, research, yeah. so. Or they just had it before. And they yeah, just know. yep, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let us know down in the comments um, if you enjoyed this Goodwill shopping trip. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next time. Yes. Okay.
stay tuned for that haul.